Okay, mind my language, but <clears throat> I'm going to try not to swear in this one, but just a heads up, this is a crazy story, right? I didn't, <coughs> didn't think I was going to have to make this video, but here I am. So, how did I crash my car? <laughs> how did I, how did I do that? Well, let me start off with a backstory. <laughs> First, I'm on my way to, I won't sugarcoat it, some hoe's house. <laughs> I'm on my way to some hoe's house because they invited me to a party and I was like, I didn't want to go at first, but they were like, they were insisting. They were like, no, you come, oh my God, you have to come. Oh my God, we, we're going to make you come. And I was like, N I was like, I have a life, like <laughs> studies, <laughs> work my own hobbies like i don't want to come to your little stupid party but they were like oh my god wait, you have to so i was like okay well if you want me to so bad then i guess i will i did so well so here's the story so i'm on my way i'm driving right we're on this little i'm going through one of those tunnels one of those light tunnels that like goes from one town to another the, they're, they're a little round and they have like the orange lights on the top and they're about a mile long. This one was four or five miles long. And, and I'm driving right on the right lane, like a good little boy, going the speed limit, maybe even five miles per hour under the speed limit. So I'm going, I'm going like a good little boy in the right lane, you know, and there was a sign outside that says, do not shift lanes while in the tunnel. And so I was thinking, okay, all right. Let me just behave myself. And so I was going, you know, 55 miles per hour through this tunnel. And right beside me, I hear, well, first of all, a whole fucking mile back. I was hearing, I was hearing that. So I was looking at my side mirror and I was like, what the fuck is that? And then I hear it even louder coming toward me going Ew! and i was like what the actual f is that and then this little guy this little scrawny little scrawny 19 year old dude maybe i don't know he's like he was like a f***ing, uh, scrawny little f***y high schooler he comes up beside me right and he he goes he gives me one of these he's like and then he rolls down his window like that and sticks up the middle finger and flips me off and I'm like, dude, what the f***? Like, first of all, what the f*** did I do? He just pulls up beside me, flips me off for out of nowhere, rolls down his window, and he's like, he's like this. So I'm like, does he want me to roll down my window too? So I'm like, I'm just going to ignore him. So then he's beeping like a f***ing beeper. And... So I'm, I'm like, I finally compromise. I'm like, oh man, he's not going to stop. He's probably not going to stop unless I roll down my window. So I'm like, oh man, I take one sip of my, take one sip of my Wendy's orange vitamin water and I roll down my window anticipating anything. I don't know what, I don't know if this guy has a gun. I don't know if this guy has a knife. I don't know if this guy has anything dangerous. So I'm like. I roll it down and I'm like, hey. And what does he do? He goes, want to race? And I'm going, buddy. I'm here in my 2012 <laughs> Honda Insight. Little, pe little peasy little hatchback. Little teensy weensy little hybrid hatchback. Right. I'm like, do I want to race? No, I don't want to race. This guy's, I don't know if I mentioned, he was in like a BMW XI59 or something like that. One of those, it's like brand new. You can hear it. he installed, he did some modifications on that sucker. He's driving by, right beside me. We're like parallel now. And he's like, you want to race? I'm like, buddy, do I want to race in a 50 mile, in a 55 mile per hour zone tunnel where you're not allowed to merge lanes? Uh, no, nobody, I don't want to race. And then he's like, he flips me off again and speeds ahead of me. I hear him go Zoom! right ahead of me, passes up a few cars. Now that left lane was open and I would have gone over there. But, you know, of course, I was behaving myself 
didn't go over there. So anyway, this mother zooms ahead of me and I'm like, oh, well, at least he's gone. And then all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, what the f is that? He apparently slammed on his brakes while he was up there, waited for me to catch up, and then he shifted in the drive, like fifth gear or something, kicked it up while I was driving by, and it started following me. So again, we're parallel in this little tiny tunnel. There are two lanes right here. He's right here. I'm right here. And he's like, he goes like this again. And by this point, I had already rolled my window up because I was done dealing with him. And it was a cold night outside anyway. I was safe the first time. I thought I escaped this guy. But he's like, roll down your window, roll down your... So I'm like, f man, f man. So I, I'm like, ah. well, I was safe the first time. So logically, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, I should be safe this time. And I have my kid in the back, by the way. Uh, I'm a teenage parent, by the way. Um, so I was got my kid, my little two year old in the back. <clears throat> He's sipping on his Wendy's eating his little chicken nuggets and fries. And I'm like, well, I don't know what this guy's going to do, but I'm keeping my two year old safe at all costs. Right? So I rolled out my window and I'm like, Hey dude. And he <clears throat> flips me off again for the second, no third time this time. And you will not believe goes like this. I see him reaching down, like down in his sock, like down in his pant leg, like in his shoe, in his boot. He's probably wearing boots. He was one of those guys. Reached down to pull out something from his boot and goes like this. And from my point of view, I couldn't really see anything. I was, you know, I was trying to keep my eyes on the road and I was also looking over and then I see woo, right in front of my face, a fucking grenade lands in my passenger seat. And I'm like, what the f And I'm like double taken, like triple taken, quadruple taken, quintuple taken while I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road. And I'm like, no way he just threw a grenade in my car while I'm driving. I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I roll down my passenger window and I'm like, oh God, I got to get this grenade, grenade out of here. So I take, I pick up the grenade and I roll down my passenger window. I whip it, I whip it out of that window. It bounces off of the wall. Bounces off of the wall. Bounces right back into my passenger seat. And I'm like, I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on. Boom, right in my face. I got my two year old in the back. Blows a, a fucking uh, thing in my head, like a hole in my head. I don't know if you can see. You can see my gnarly hairline, but not the stitches in my head. Dude, blows a hole in my head. I'm still in that tunnel driving, you know, trying to keep my eyes on the road. I got this crying behind me. I got a grenade, like the whole side of my car is blown out. I'm driving and then I hear a like scraping. I look to my sides. I'm, I noticed the... The two front tires, whoo, they're gone. They pop out either side of me. And now I'm just like, what am I driving now? And then I, I realize my back tires, whoo, they pop out either side of me. And now I'm like, what the f Like now I'm really driving a shell of a car. And then, <clears throat> so this guy, I'm like dragging behind, you know, cause I just lost half my car this guy comes up slams on the brakes again stops right beside me and he's like he rolls down his window my window's already down at this point because they got blown out by the grenade he stops beside me in the middle of the tunnel thank god there are no cars behind us and then immediately so i'm right here he goes like this freaking pit maneuvers me like into the wall, like sideways me into the wall. So now I've got this half of my car like slammed into the wall and this half of the my half of my car, he took out the whole front hood. This is all gone. This is all gone. So now I'm like, my car looks like a needle at this point, you know? 
I got this kid crying in the back. I don't know what to do. I just got a grenade blown up in my face. I got a hole in my head leaking blood every second. And I'm like, oh, oh what the hell? Oh, what the f***, dude? So then I hear him go, away. He's got. He's out of there. He's not looking to stick around. And I'm like, oh, I still got to see the hose. I still got to go to the hose. Like in my, in my state of like, my brain's messed up, dude. And all I can think about is the hose. I need to get to the hose. Would you believe it? I see a girl drive up beside me while I'm in a wreck. I'm like, oh, on the side of the tunnel, a girl comes up beside me and she's like, hey, I know it. I recognize you. You're the guy who has that YouTube channel about the cars. And she says that to me. <clears throat> and I say, yeah, I am. GML Car Talk. Yeah, I recognize you. And she's like, you look like you're in a big mess. Do you need a ride? I'm going to a party with a bunch of hoes. And I'm like, a party with hoes? That's where I'm going. Literally, she said that. I said that. And then she's like, do you need a ride? So I go with her. I hop in. My two-year-old man. Sucks to be him, I guess, man, because I got to see the hook. I was just gonna, I was going to come back for him later. I really was. I really was. I promise. So we go. I enjoy the party. You know, my head's freaking blown out, dude. Like, I don't know what I'm saying half the time, but, you know, they're loving it. I'm getting them slamming down beers, pounding down weed, you know. And then on my way home, <clears throat> when she's driving me on the way home, we pass the wreckage. And I'm like, oh, my God, my two-year-old. And by this point, it's... 4 a.m. maybe and I'm like oh I forgot about I was like hey can we make a stop at this wreckage I think I forgot my wallet <laughs> and she's like oh yeah oh, oh yeah anything for you she said that and then so I'm like oh you can just drop me off here actually <laughs> you can just drop me off here and you know thank you for the ride that was very nice but I'll just have I'll call an uber I guess so she's like, okay, are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So she drops me off in my car wreckage. And I'm like, oh my God, my two-year-old. What happened to that dude? So I'm looking. I'm looking through the wreckage. He was alive when I left, when she picked me up. I'm looking through the wreckage. And I'm like, oh God, I can't find this dude anywhere. What happened? Did he crawl? Did he crawl away? Did he get picked up by the police? Did somebody come try to check on the car and like see him and kidnap him? Like, I don't know what happened. I haven't heard from or about him since. What? These cars keep, I'm in a, an empty parking lot right now and these cars keep coming up driving next to me and there's no reason to be in this parking lot, but um, hopefully they're not looking to give me my child or anything. Crazy story, yeah. And then, that's pretty much it, actually. <laughs> so I don't know where my two-year-old is at now. I don't know. His car seat's in the back there, so I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> um, yeah, hopefully no police officers see this. And if they do, I, this whole story was fake anyway. I was just joking. <laughs> and this isn't actually real. A craziest night of my life. Craziest night of my life. And the worst part is... I didn't even win the f***ing race.